Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today ay pag-usapan naman natin ang pag-solve ng ating mga circle using the center radius equation. Sa geometry, meron tayong tinatawag na analytic geometry kung saan ang popular na topic na sinusolve or sinusolve natin dito ay yung conic sections. At for today, ay pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano tayo mag-solve ng mga problems in public circle na kung saan kailangan natin isulat ang kanyang equation using this formation or notation. So ito yung tinatawag natin uh, center radius equation na kung saan yung ating equation ay given by this formula x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equal to the radius square. So ito yung ating center radius circle na tinatawag na kung saan yung ating hk ay uh, yung center ng ating circle at yung r ay yung ating radius. So kung uh, titingnan natin yan sa ating Cartesian coordinate or xy plane, so yung ating uh, xy plane, this is the y axis and this is the x axis. Let's say meron tayong circle na nandito, ito yung graph ng ating circle, yung center natin given by a point, yung coordinate ng point na yan ay yung ating hk na tinatawag na makikita ninyo sa ating formula. At yung radius natin, yan yung ating distance ng ating center to any of the point on the circle. So ito yung ating length or yung ating radius at mahalaga na meron tayong center which is at hk at yung radius natin which is given by a numerical value sa pagsulat ng ating equation or standard equation ng ating circle. So let's say meron tayong problem na kung saan kailangan daw nating isulat yung standard equation of the circle with the center of 5, negative 2 and the radius of 7. So dito sa ating equation na yan, kailangan lang natin alamin yung ating mga ingredients to write our equation of a circle. So syempre, dito, given tayo ng center, which is equal to 5 and negative 2, at given tayo ng radius, which is given by 7. So ito yung ating length ng ating radius. Now, sa pagsulat ng standard equation ng circle, ito ang formula na gagamitin natin na nakasulat na dito sa ating board. Kung igagraph natin yung ating circle, makipapansin natin sa xy plane. So 5 and negative 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And negative 2 is 1, 2. So andito yung ating center. So pag sinabing 7 units yan, so ibig sabihin bibilang kayo ng 7 units pataas, 7 units pababa, 7 units pa kanan, at 7 units papunta sa kaliwa at mabubuo nyo na yung inyong circle na tinatawag. Now, sketch lamang ito at hindi ito up to scale. So, uh, yung ating uh, coordinates ng ating mga points dito ay hindi accurate. So, ito lang yung ating idea. So, ito yung ating circle at gagawa natin yung kanyang equation. So, dito, kailangan natin yung equation natin na x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito is basically papaltan nyo yung h, papaltan nyo yung k, at papaltan nyo yung r ng ating equation. So, to be able to do that, gagamitin natin yung given value natin. Ito si h at ito si k. So, si h is 5. So, this is 5. At si k ay negative 2. So, this is negative 2. At si r ay 7. So, ito na ngayon yung ating standard equation ng ating circle. But we need to simplify it further. And to do that, this, we don't need to uh, do any changes here. So, it's going to be x minus 5 squared plus this, y minus minus 2 is positive 2. So, that means y plus 2 yung ating second term square equal to 7 squared which is equal to 49. At ito yung tinatawag nating center radius equation or standard form ng equation ng circle gamit yung ating 
formula. So, madali lang kung uh, uh, binigay sa atin yung center at radius sa problem dahil ang gagawin lang natin is kunin si H, kunin si K, kunin si R, which is yung ingredients na kailangan natin to write the formula, which is X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. At taltan lang natin yung H, K, and R. And to simplify our equation, our standard form will be X minus 5 squared plus Y plus 2 squared equal to 49, which is the same as what we have here dun sa ating equation. So yan, at ganyan lang kabilis yung pagsulat natin na equation ng circle given the radius and the center. Now, paano naman kung hindi ganun yung given information dito sa ating problem? So in this second problem, what is the standard equation of the circle with the center at 1 and negative 3 that passes through the point 2, 2? So, yan yung ating uh, clues at mapapansin natin na meron tayong center pero wala tayong radius. So, to be able to do that, kailangan natin kunin siyempre si radius. So, to be able to visualize ang pagkuhan ng ating radius, i-graph natin yung ating circle. At mapapansin natin na kung i-graph natin to kung meron tayong y-coordinate at x-coordinate, si 1 ay 1 negative 3. So, andito si center. Si center natin ay 1, negative 3. At yung point natin na 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Ito si 2, 2. So, ibig sabihin yan, meron tayong circle na nagpapass through that point. So, kung i-sketch natin yung ating circle, it will look something like this. Again, this is not an accurate representation of our circle, but just to visualize kung paano natin kukunin ang line na yan. At yung line na yan, yan yung tinatawag natin na radius. So sa radius na yan, kukunin natin yan using the distance formula. So to be able to do that, Dapat alam natin yung distance formula. So since yung ating given, meron tayong point, meron tayong center at 1, negative 3, at meron tayong point at 2, 2. So gamitin natin yan sa ating distance formula. So ito yung ating x-coordinate at ito yung ating y-coordinate. At ang ating distance formula is equal to the square root of the difference of x squared plus the difference of y squared. So, ano ba yung difference? Ang difference, kukunin nyo lang yung difference ng 1 and 2 at difference ng negative 3 and 2. So, ganyan yung technique na ginagawa ko. And to do that, to be able to find the, the difference of x squared, so kukunin ko lang si 1 minus 2 at si 1 minus 2 ay equal to negative 1 at yung uh, difference ng y squared would be negative 3 and 2. So, subtract ko siya. Negative 3 minus 2 is equal to negative 5. At since kailangan ko ng square, sa square ko yung dalawang yan, at meron na akong term 1 at term 2 ng aking distance formula. So, meron ako ngayong square root of negative 1 squared plus negative 5 squared, which gives me the square root of 1 plus 25 which gives me the distance of square root of 26. And since hindi siya perfect square, iwan natin si distance na square root of 26, which is basically our radius. At since meron na tayong radius at meron pa tayong center, pwede na natin isulat yung ating equation ng circle. So isulat natin yung ating radius para meron tayong space. So si radius, lagay natin dito si radius. Burahin natin yung formula. Radius is equal to the square root of 26. So since meron na tayong square root of 26 na nakompute natin using the distance formula, gamitin natin ulit si x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And in this case, kailangan natin paltan si h, paltan si k, at paltan si r kasi meron na tayong h, which is from the center, h, k, 1 and negative 3. So, 1 and negative 3, and r, which is square root of 26. Now, ito, ito na ngayon yung ating standard equation, pero kailangan natin siyang simplify. 
So, hindi na natin to kailangan i-simplify dahil simplest form na siya ng ating equation. So, meron tayong x minus 1. x minus 1 squared plus y minus minus 3 is y plus 3. Equal to the square of square of 26 is simply 26 dahil ang uh, square ng square of 26 is square of 26 times square of 26. So we know that to square it, tatanggalin lang natin yung ating square root. At ito na ngayon yung standard equation ng ating circle na ginagawa. So ito yung ginamit natin yung distance formula gamit ang center at yung point. So, nakuha natin sa square root of 26 na nakikita natin dyan at na-solve natin kanina using the difference of n, x, and the difference of y. And then, use the standard equation para ma-change natin si h, k, and r. At meron tayo ngayong equation ng circle na pwede natin i-simplify into x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equal to 26, which is the same as our problem right here. At yan yung ating equation ng circle gamit yung ating center radius equation or center radius form, or also known as the standard form of our equation of a circle. So paano natin gagamitin yung mga yan? Kailangan alam natin yung formula at nabivisualize natin yung circle given by a graph. At yan ang ating lesson for today. At sana sa pagsagot ninyo ng analytic geometry at sa pagkuha ninyo ng mga equation natin, hindi lang ng line, marami tayong shapes sa mathematics. Always keep in mind na kailangan natin alamin yung formula at uh, maintindihan kung ano ba yung meron sa formula para masagot natin yung ating mga word problems tulad ng ginawa natin today. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!